Lab 2-2, two, two, design rules check. So this lab, the objectives are to verify design compliance to design rules and correct warning on unconnected pins. Running the design rules check, what you're going to do is click on lesson 2 uh, dot DSN, which you see here. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll click on tools, design rule check. You'll see an undo warning, no big deal. Go ahead and hit yes. And then the design rules check box comes up. This box has a few uh, windows associated to it, or tabs, if you will. What we're going to want to do here is, in this report section is make sure the following check boxes are checked. First one we want to check out is uh, create DRC markers for warnings. This one's actually located in the design rules options tab. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to click on check design rules for the create DRC marker for warnings to be checked. The next thing I'll do is report identical part references. This is actually located under the physical rules tab. So I'll click on that guy and I'll find him. He's already checked, so we're, we're okay here. The next one is report invalid packaging. Uh, she's right here. Report unused part packages. The next thing we're going to look at is report visible unconnected power pins or something of that nature. So we're going to go to the electrical rules tab because that's where it's located. And what I see is a report. I'm looking, guys. Check unconnected pins. Boom, we have it here. All right. So the next thing we want to do is check unconnected nets. which is also checked up here and report off-grid objects that's going to be that's also checked and then report all net names that guy wasn't checked so I'm going to go ahead and check him the last thing we want checked in the these design rules checkbox is the view output so I'm going to go to the design rule options and it, as you can see it is checked so we're all set when we hit OK well, actually, before I hit OK, I'm going to go to the ERC matrix. And I want to set the buttons along uh, the bottom row to W. Alright, so we're going to do that. Do that by doing this. Just clicking it. Just clicking it. They're all W's. And then I'll hit OK. I get question specified path. Would I like to browse for another path? I'm not really worried about this uh, little warning box. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And we should be, we we'll go ahead and save our thing there to this lesson two. And we'll hit open. And this will generate a little text file uh, called lesson two notepad. I'm going to go ahead and expand this guy. Go ahead and take a look at it. So we have one for schematic one, checking schematic, and then uh, schematic two. And when we went through our design rules checklist, this generate this file that gener that's got generated, excuse me, is uh, shows basically everything that we decided to check on. Recording. All right, so. Uh, after we're done looking at the DRC report that gets generated in this text file, we can go ahead and close it out. But before that, if you notice, we have some warnings here, uh, and even an error. And uh, we're going to talk about how to fix unconnected pin warnings. So we'll go ahead and close this guy out, and I'll double click on the DRC marker once I'm done doing that. I'm going to click on the schematic window to make it active. And there's a place no connect icon, which I have to find. It's this guy here. So I'm going to click on I'm going to click on him and add a no connect symbol to pin 15. There. 
that's been added. I'm going to go ahead and save the design. So I'm going to go to the, the project uh, window just to ensure that the design is selected or the project is selected. I'm going to review the new DRC report as I had generated last time. So what I'll do is go back to tools again. Uh, I'll go to design rules check. This guy comes up. I'm going to hit OK. Uh, and I pull up my lesson two. And if you notice, I have less warnings now. Oh, and the schematic observed that the error marker on pin 15 of U1 has been cleared. Uh, so I don't know if you see that. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about fixing the other ones because that's going to be another lab. We are done. Thanks.